date to this reading will be the end of the the end of February fifteenth, beginning on the sixteenth through the month of March sixteenth. Okay, so it's going to be the next thirty days, and we'll see what messages come out here for you in love. So if you are new to the channel, please do click that like, share, and subscribe button. And if you would like to get a personal reading with me, there is a link in the description box below. All right, Virgo, let's get into your reading here and let's take a look and see what the messages are. Celtic Cross spread, past position, you've got Wheel of Fortune. Okay, clarified by, all right, the Six of Cups. So the current energy here right now, oh, we almost had a flipper. Okay, is you have the Four of Cups and what is in front of you, crossing you at this time, the challenge, Page of Swords in the reverse. Okay, driving the reading, the root of the problem, the magician in the reverse. I can already see what's going on here. Okay, crowning down on top of you, the possibilities. Let's take a look. Okay, you've got the Queen of Swords and coming towards you king of pentacles all right position of you and your advice going forward virgo sun moon rising or venus advice for virgo position they are in currently wow you've got a seven of swords virgo all right external to virgo the other person all right seven of cups okay and hopes and fears okay you have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse and the possible outcome for everything here. This situation, ship, relationship. Okay. Hmm. Five of Cups in the reverse. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Nine of Wands in the reverse. So the overall energy here for this whole reading, Virgo, this time period, it's like isolation ends here. Um, and getting your faith back. Okay. Um, being a little defensive, but it feels mostly like, yeah, um, it's slow going, Virgo, but I feel like y you're strengthening your faith, getting back to, I feel like, yourself in some way. Um, let me see what the love messages are here before we begin this reading. The overall message, though, is it's kind of like you're pushing back on energies so that you can sustain your faith and your hope in your beliefs going forward and it also feels like um whatever isolation you felt like you've been in you come out of this and faith brings you through okay you've also got honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together okay so there might be a desire to connect with another person um, could be coming from you or another person feeling that way about you. Okay. Um, is there a holiday coming up? I know here in the United States, I mean, it was President's Weekend. What's the next holiday? I mean, there's I, St. Patrick's Day here in the U.S. Um, okay. There, there could be some, for some, a spring break might consider that a holiday or Easter break and then if you're in other if you have other parts of the world and you have a holiday coming up perhaps it's something there for you um let me see here what's going on virgo what is going on other messages here for virgo oh, okay and you've got forgiving and learning oh wow okay releasing and healing the past to experience more love in your present moments and you've also got flirt okay virgo coming out of isolation and back to yourself and flirting with like every Tom Dick can and why can't I talk tonight every Tom Dick and Harry every Nancy Sue and Peggy yeah Virgo it's like you're letting go of the past you're healing getting your faith back coming out of isolation um there's a connection here maybe someone's flirting with you or you start fl now remember this might not be happening right now this is predictive going forward okay so if if you like are like well this isn't resonating well of course it's not it probably hasn't happened yet so you gotta wait but that's what i feel like the energy here is okay there's flirting with someone uh, two people flirting with each other connecting during a holiday time or like a downtime okay but yeah, definitely, all right, so Virgo, is that you coming out of isolation? Another person coming out of isolation? We'll see, what's this card here? I didn't see that, oh my God. 
There's engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. What? All right, Virgo. Let's get into your reading, though. Past position looks to me like there was change in regards to a connection that you have with someone from a long time ago. Okay. Um, something shifted in this connection. Let me see if I can get a little clarity on what the change was. It was a past life relationship or a past connection um, where there was like a, um, I mean, it was shifted for the positive. Although if it was a breakup and something ended and that did not feel positive, I feel like it was a blessing in disguise for some of you. Uh, some of you might have reconnected with someone from your past in the past. Okay. So there was a decision that was definitely made in the past it feels like to shift or change a relationship um maybe with, for some of you with someone that you knew a long time ago okay and there is a little bit of a, a blocking energy as well okay there might have been a period too of um finding out about some secrets somebody might have been holding on to some secrets and things might have been found out as well um I feel like somebody also, yeah, there, there were some secrets revealed or somebody wanted someone to talk or open up or be transparent about something. And mostly it feels like there that wasn't done. Something wasn't expressed. I don't know if it's some truth, but whether it's truth or whatever, it was deep hidden things um, that I feel like, Virgo, for you, you um were like you were wanting to know more there was a there was definitely a bit of a lack of transparency in a relationship so whatever that means lack of transparency lack of vulnerability a lack of communication whatever happened in the past um it's like no hard feelings bye bye that's kind of the energy that i feel like either that was the initial change or um you recently came to that like that's just needed to make a decision to you know keep it moving okay um you might have tried to make a compromise with someone in the past try to work things out try to clear the air get to some truth and um yeah i just kind of feel like uh if you are in this position right now like if you're sitting here and you're saying to yourself, did I make the right decision? Virgo, I feel like you did because when the wheel is moving and it's in the upright, it's moving in your favor. So if you made a decision to end something with someone or if someone made a decision to end it with you and you decided to not try to get them back, uh, yeah, looks like that was a good decision because I feel what was going on here is um, somebody was hiding vulnerabilities okay they were hiding them they were not really being open with you now the current position right now i see there is indifference happening here for you virgo so yeah it kind of feels to me like you're just like eh, it's whatever it's just not fulfilling you're still in this place of like no i'm just not gonna take any love offers um Remember, I did say you're coming out of isolation, and this could be a little bit after this energy. I do feel like you've got someone who is kind of still watching you or spying, or there's gossip around you, or somebody is talking about you, and eh, I'm not like really a fan of this energy, but you know, people are going to do what they're going to do, and yeah, I just kind of feel like someone's super, super weak for you, um, and just somehow virgo i will t if this is a person that you walked away from in the past or they walked away from you and it's just like ended yeah i feel like this person has been trying to send you some love somehow some way but you're not even paying attention to it some of you are just seriously just looking all your, at your uh, what other options are out there you're really not fully opening yourself up to any other options but i do feel like love keeps like keeps knocking on the door and um, you're contemplative. You're just kind of, if it's one, that one person, okay? I feel like there's people perhaps also trying to find out, gain more information on you. Um, you're not out of isolation yet. I will say this. Look, the magician is in the reverse driving this reading. So 
as always, the magician in the reverse is always someone who is heavy, heavily ma manipulative. This is a manipulator. This is like pulls tricks, um, not for fun, but it's they're scandalous. There's someone here, very scattered energy. Um, this person doesn't uh, follow. There's something in the energy. It feels like what's driving you right now to be perhaps indifferent to love even whether it's with another person that person or anybody else is that there's just been so much so many promises made and unkept i kind of feel virgo like you're right now a little bit like Ugh, let me just see how my bank my bank my money's doing <laughs> let me just see how everything i i don't know if you're just at this time right now really not even I don't know, Virgo, I just get a sense like you're indifferent. Is it because of the past? I mean, not because something ended, but because some of you are just in a transition period. It's like, you know, let me just get some me time in right now. Let me take care of the things I need to take care of within myself. Yeah, Virgo, you're getting love offers either from one person consistently that you're not aware of because you're not even paying attention. Um where somebody is like watching you, stalking you, or wanting to try to, like they keep sending their love, um, this person might be blocked. The messages, there's no double ticks. Um, the, the messages are being sent, but they're not, I feel like there's somebody here has already sent you like four love messages, um, or there's been four offers made indirectly or directly, but you're not receiving them. Somebody's definitely got their eye on you here. Who is, who's got their eye? Let me just tell you right now, showing up here. Well, first, let me answer this question. Who has their eye on Virgo currently is watching you from somewhere? I also feel like, like love is definitely trying to come in. And uh, some of you are like, yeah, okay, I see it. And then you're just like, let me put it up on the shelf for a minute. I don't know, Virgo. I don't know that you're depressed or anything. I just feel like you're maybe exhausted or you're just kind of like, oh, I'm just not feeling it right now. Okay. All right. We've got the hermit. So when I'm asking who could be reaching out or connecting with you or who's like, well, who's thinking of you or stalking. So you've got a Virgo, another Virgo and uh, possibly a cancer. Okay, we'll just keep that. Um, yeah, very heavy cancer energy and also Virgo. So they got Virgo in their chart somewhere or cancer in their chart somewhere. Um, I feel like this is somebody who, um, I mean, they're, they're going to, they're showing up here, putting it out in the open that they want to indulge <laughs> in you. Um, they're, they're talking about you to other people right now. They're like, I don't know if they are, like, they feel extremely isolated. They're not even dating other people. I feel like they're, they're talking to other people about you right now and watching you. Or there's a lot of, these are both gossip cards, Page of Swords and the Three of Cups in reverse. So there's a whole lot of talk. I don't know if they're seeking advice or they're trying to get clarity, which is what the Hermit is, going in self-reflection and clarity. But in isolation it's like this person is uh, i don't know they can't figure you out virgo yeah look judgment in the reverse okay and then we also have scorpio aries energy so judgment reverse basically this person is like they don't know what to think um they can't they can't judge the situation they don't know if you're interested in them or if you're not or if you're just playing games or if you're ignoring them <clears throat> some of you um they they have a fear that you um why aren't you chasing me <laughs> why aren't you responding to the love offers i'm making they have a fear that you've you're not going to try to reconcile that you're moving on you know and this person's showing up here like for you um with the magician in the reverse we have gemini virgo energy i feel like this person was like um tricks are for kids man they pulled like some tricks let me see. I want to get some clarifying. This is the whole reason for this reading and you not wanting to connect with somebody here. <sighs> okay, wow. That is such a strong message I just got right now. The Seven of Wands in the reverse. Okay, Virgo, let me just tell you something. Um, this person, the way they manipulated 
the relationship or you or the way they behave. They're manipulative ways. It's going to sound weird, but I'm going to try to break it down, explain it to you. Um, this person manipulates by playing weak games, by pretend, by acting as if they're unable to do stuff or they're incapable or they are like they play this victim thing that's how they manipulate they're not this person does not show up here as defensive or offensive they show up as very weak and the manipulation game is basically like to have get your attention or to have um you dote on them because to them that you loving them is they will like oh I got a cold or I'm really sick um I need you like there's this I'm I'm helpless manipulation tactic that this person <laughs> plays in order to get you to feel sorry for them or maybe they played that in the past that's what I feel I don't know that they're doing that now but I feel like what's driving you to be indifferent to this person is because you're not down with these games this is faking injuries this is this is faking to manipulate okay faking things look virgo you've got the queen of swords crowning down on you here and this is like you your head space is like i know the truth i know the truth okay I don't understand why would someone need to do that? Why would someone need to play this injury, fake injury game in order to get your approval, validation, and attention? What the heck? Okay, this person has mommy issues. Holy smokes. You can't make this up. Okay, this person has issues with a mother. Um... <sighs> Because the mother's in reverse, okay, you guys? At least I think it was. But either way, the mother in reverse is someone who's extremely codependent, very codependent on their kids. The, the, the empress in the reverse is someone who's very dependent, overly dependent, weak. Um, apple doesn't fall that far from the tree, Virgo, here with whatever the issue is going on with this person, okay? Um, wow. <laughs> at the star maybe their mother was like famous or something they could have had a famous mother or um maybe your person was and their mother became very dependent on them for money because this the empress in reverse can be um it can represent limited resources so yeah i feel like um this mother also was very vain um she always had to be center of attention. It's such a weird thing. Look, this is too psychological for me. Um, the reason why this person behaves this way, and you know, I always talk about like, who cares? Who gives a shit about the why, right? <laughs> I mean, because the more you know about why somebody behaves, the the more leeway you give them. It, it really doesn't matter um, because if they're not going to see why they behave themselves and make changes to improve themselves then what's that got to do with you that's not your problem right so the seven of pentacles reverse i feel like this person they're just lazy <laughs> um this person doesn't they don't know how to contemplate or think about the behaviors that they have or had towards you. Okay, but either way, it feels like you know this, right? Look at you, Virgo. You got the Queen of Swords crowning down. So your energy, you know, male or female, masculine, feminine, it's like I just see you being completely clear about this relationship. I don't see you hating. I definitely see you single. Like your mindset. You might even still be with this person, but you feel like you're alone. And whatever the case is, Virgo, I feel like you're, I don't know, you have clarity of mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have, you, <clears throat> this is right now, maybe this reading is giving you some clarity, but you have clarity of mind when it comes to this person. <clears throat> Your clarity is that they're poking the bear 
Um, and then they're, they're playing ding dong ditch, right? They're poking the bear. They're, they're giving me signs. There's little things that are happening, but these are all like skirting around the outskirts. Like this is the elephant in the room. Like what is going on? Why won't this person come forward? What's the deal? Why are, why are they poking the bear? Why are they coming up, ringing my doorbell and then scaring away? Like Virgo, I feel like if in your mind, <laughs> You got the queen of pentacles in the reverse. You're being nasty, right? You're Virgo. I feel like your energy right now is like, you kind of look at this person. You're like, if you're not going to follow through, I'm not following through. That's your truth with this person. Okay. Even if they're reaching back out or they're trying to make something happen, which I see they are currently. That's what they're, that's not what's going to happen in the future. So if you don't, some of you might not even be paying attention or even realize that they're doing this. Others of you are like, yeah, yeah, they keep reaching out. Um, but there's no follow through. It's it's a little bit of like, hey, oh, <laughs> I had to take my dog to the vet. I'm so upset. Like even if they don't play, like they have an injury, maybe their pet has an injury or there's something going on with their kids or can you give them advice? Because Virgos are the nurses of the Zodiac, you know, um, or they are just kind of saying something to other people in your sphere of influence. And I don't know, is it getting back to you? It's getting back to you that they're asking around about you or they're trying to get your attention for you to pursue them. That's what I feel. Okay, Virgo, yeah, I can't. Okay, the near future, you have the King of Pentacles in the upright. So Virgo, this could be you or this could be another person. As you, this is like... You know, you just get back into your element going forward. Okay, so we're going into like the beginning of March. Okay, Virgo, you are, I just don't see you being weak for somebody here. Okay, um, maybe you were in the past, but I don't know, you get over something. So I feel like, yeah, uh, it's basically saying like, when is this grief going to start? Yeah, um, be, like sometime like in the next couple weeks. Because your clarity, like your clarity, your logic, I don't know, it subdues your heart and you just kind of like get back on track, you know? I feel like you get back on track. As far as another person is concerned, I feel like if you were connecting with another earth sign or they have earth in their chart somewhere, going forward, this person just keeps getting weaker and weaker um, for you, but they act like they're not, they're hiding it, okay? Um... This person might be like in your periphery, hanging around you in some one way or another, deep down inside. Um, this person has absolutely no confidence. They're lacking confidence with strength in the reverse. This person sits in this position of just basically um, fearful. Okay, um, they're a self sabotager, and but they they present to others and to you as having it all together which is, you know, king of pentacles, upright, okay? Someone who's pretty damn solid, you know, resourceful, very domesticated, a good hard worker, but you know what? Behind it's a facade. They're and they're weak for you. Look, here's the lovers and the ace of cups. Yeah, this person I don't know if they're like super intimidated by you. They put up a front. This person's fronting. They got this mask and Virgo like your advice is to be aware of that okay does that make them a bad person of course not you know people if they're intimidated by someone you know if they're insecure they don't really you know whatever it's like if you meet like a famous movie star that you can think of i mean yeah it challenges your security a little bit you find you're like shaking in your boots you're like oh you're gonna meet that it's not everybody but some you know um and it's kind of like all of your like when you meet someone who's super super famous and i'm talking like billionaire type rihanna energy you meet that person and it's like <gasps> you can't breathe <laughs> you're shaking you're in awe you completely lose yourself that's how this person is around you right um they see you as that they see you that way and there's something here coming from the mom something here coming from their mom I don't know. I think the person might be like, if we're going to get a little psychological, they're like projecting some stuff. But you need to understand that this, yeah, you, this is your advice here, Virgo. Position of view is pay attention. You know, 
this person's got a red flag hat. They got red flag boots. Okay. Um, protect yourself, Virgo, from deception. Someone who's strategizing to try to get what they want. Look. Um, look at this. This is crazy. So this is like a thief. Okay. This is somebody who comes in. There's a total of seven swords. They only take five. They leave two. So they make it seem like they weren't intentionally trying to hurt you or hurt anybody. Look, I left you two. Yeah, but that doesn't cancel out the fact that you stole five. Okay. A thief is a thief is a thief. You can't put lipstick on a pig or flowers in a, on a snake and it's become something else. No. So look, <laughs> That's kind of the little game I feel like this person plays. You know, I didn't eat all the cookies. I left you two. Um, well, I, those were my cookies. You shouldn't have had even one without asking me first. You know, it's all about respect. Um, so Virgo, your advice here is to pay attention. Don't negate. Well, you know, they only did this. They were only deceptive. Like they, they lied to me like 75% of it was a, a lie and the other 25% of it was the truth. Well, that's basically a half-truther, which is still a liar. Okay. <laughs> oh, Virgo, Virgo, what else do you have for your advice here? Okay. Uh, but listen, Virgo, this person, they're hiding the fact that they are in love with you. They You are the only one for them. They want to be with you. Absolutely. They're weak for you. Um, and they're, they're dancing around you during this time period. They're dancing around you. Gemini showing up here again. Yeah, they're dancing around you, hoping that they can catch a glimpse. Hopefully you, you'll you catch a glimpse of them. You'll like be in, enthused. You'll feel bad. You'll want to reach out, that kind of stuff. I don't know what you're going to do. And I'm certainly not going to tell you. Well, all right. So you have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So uh, Virgo, um, looks like, uh, you know, there's definitely going to be this person returning home, uh, or returning back to you, definitely. I feel like you get a sense that they're going to do that and try to come in and um, play the game again. But in the position of your advice, the Eight of Cups in the, re in the reverse is learn from the past, Virgo learn something from the past here real strong energy in regards to that um pisces for some aquarius perhaps all right let me just see i mean i do i pick up that you pick up that this person you know you know that they're kind of hovering you know that they're gonna there's gonna be another round um, don't say yes until you've finally learned what, what's going on. I feel like a lot of you do know, yeah. See, some of you do want this person, like, to stop their games, and you want them to come back and, you know, not, and, and to heal and stop playing these, these crazy, like, heartbroken games, you know. You want them to, like, soothe themselves, I guess. You know, you, some of you, but mostly the energy is <coughs> pay, pay attention, <clears throat> the past message, learning from the past, is that this person in and out <clears throat> comes in with a very healing energy. Like, oh, I want to fix this. I want to make this work. And it's like they don't, okay? They leave. So what's going on with them? Okay, here they are, Virgo, point blank period. This is 100%. This is in the position of this person. They are still non-committal and nothing has changed about that. They're still stuck in this non-committal energy. They also cannot move on to because they don't know where you're at or what you're doing or w what's going on with you. So they're trying to like figure it out, right? Uh, did you ghost or maybe they ghosted you and then you ghosted back? I don't know, Virgo, but that world card in the reverse, that's all like I'm permanently stuck on you. And um, we have unfinished business here and I it's not going to be finished until you say yes or until you try to come back or make something work like uh, everything's on delay and they're not even committing to anybody else because look you're the one like how can i say this like you're the one that got away i don't know virgo like this person sure there's lots of other options and all but they know where all those those other options are and they know what those other options are doing and they're not intrigued they're intrigued by look <laughs> The little ghosty thing, like, haha, you can't see me. I'm here, but I'm not here. The transparency, no, there isn't any. What the heck? Oh. 
Okay. Um, so, yeah, uh, in this person's position here, this other person, uh, it's not over. <clears throat> it's not over. I just had a phrase. It's not over until the fat lady sings. I don't know. What's that from? Like a circus or something? Yeah. Okay. So they're, they're stuck and they're going to keep hovering or dancing around you. Um, I don't even understand this behavior. They're, they're dancing around, hoping that you're going to just, I don't know, come in, give them the love. This person needs a freaking psychiatrist. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Like, this is just weird. This is such weird energy. Oh, death card. Virgo, you, uh, listen, you're not working on this anymore. You're not trying to learn anything new about this person. Uh, or trying to understand, towards the end of the month here, you're just like, I'm, I'm talking about like the end of, the middle of January, or January, March. You're over it. You're over it. You're not trying to study this person. You're not trying to understand why they act like they do. You're not trying to figure it out. You're done. It doesn't matter, Virgo. You get to this place where, like, it just doesn't matter. Um, why? You're, Virgo's like, I'm, you know what? I'm not the savior. This person tried to put me in a position of being their savior. And some of you took that role on. Yeah, I'll help. Yeah, I'll help you. Yeah, I'll help you. Yeah, I'll do this. Yeah, I'll do that. You know, some of you had a little fawn trauma going on, but whatever the issue, I feel like that's it for you. Okay, which is great. Does that mean this relationship can't work out again? No, it just means that you have to put your, some boundaries up with this person, that's all, which you might not have done. And, and yeah, can you guys resume a relationship? And, and I mean, I don't know how happy you'll be. Like, Virgo, I, I tell you what, when you change yourself and you make yourself better, the people around you tend to change for the better. And if they don't, then that's not your soul tribe. That's not your, your lover. That's not your person. So Virgo, it's like you healing yourself first is the first order of business. You don't need to be focusing on this person healing. Um, that's not your problem. That's not your, your job. You weren't put on this planet to heal somebody else. Um, you know, unless you're a physician or a nurse, but then you're not even doing that. You still have yourself you have to take care of. So this is not a project, this person. Um, yeah, you give and you're, you love and you help, but I feel like a lot of you got a little sidetracked about what was going on with this person and um, trying to understand. I feel like you spent more time trying to understand rather than them just being vulnerable and transparent and open and explaining themselves to you. And I don't feel like they really understand what's going on with themselves even to even be able to explain it to you. So uh, you know what, Virgo, it looks to me like you're that three of pentacles in the reverse. It's like you're not even trying to, to have anything with this person because the three of pentacles can be a card about marriage and commitment, you know, committing to making something happen, building something um, teamwork, that kind of thing, collaborating together. I feel like for you, um, you can't build this house all by yourself and you're not even going to try to understand it. Now, going forward, kind of like an outcome situation. Well, you know what? Five of Cups is in the reverse here, Virgo. So <laughs> looks to me like you're just going to move on right off into the sunset. These next 30 days, the process that you go through, you, you definitely become enlightened. And the more enlightenment you create and you have, um, the more stuck this person seems to be. Because I feel like you might have been their life source or something. You gave something, no matter how long it was. There was something about you that this person got from you that uh, was good. It was good. It was all good. Okay. Let me see. I just want to see. Yeah. Look, Ten of Cups in the reverse on them. <sighs> They're not letting go. <laughs> Ace of Wands in the reverse. They're not letting go. Unfinished business because you guys got stuck at the nine, never got to the ten. The ten of cups reversed reduces back to the nine of cups. So it got to basically with for this person, you're a wish come true for them. 
Absolutely, you still are, you know. Um, but I feel like this person's broken. Their heart's broken. They're, you know, like they're empty nest. You're not there. They feel that very strongly. Like you're not in their periphery. They're looking for you. You're not where you're normally found or you're, you guys are not meeting up at the same time. And this has this person kind of like, what the? What the heck is going on? Um, yeah, this person sits with like a tremendous amount of rejection. They know everything was like a false start, delays. It's brutal. The whole situation is brutal, okay? Um, hmm. But you know what, Virgo? It feels like they did it to themselves because it looks like they cut you out first. You know, and if they didn't actually physically cut you out, they just cut it off in some way and they've done this to other people. And I feel like, you know, <laughs> they did it to themselves. You know, um, that's kind of sad. I might cry. Ah! Sorry. All right, let me see. I'm going to get some Chinese signs here. I, it feels to me, Virgo, like you, like I said, during this time period, it's like you're not shedding any more tears. You're you know towards the middle of march you're not shedding any more tears you heal the griefs the, you go through the grief stage you move on you forgive even and then hope returns back to you like this process you know it's like you start feeling better again there's always a light at the end of the tunnel and sometimes you just have to envision it you know like you just have to like manifest that in your mind if you're stuck, you feel like you're stuck in a tunnel, envision a tunnel with a light at the end and just keep focusing on that tunnel. Just keep saying to yourself, I'm almost there. It's almost there. I'm almost there. Just, it, we're almost done. You know, you're, you're going through it. You will not stay in, you're not meant to stay in this energy of confusion or not understanding what's going on with another person okay so you get back out and this is what i'm talking about right here with the sun isolation ends you're back out in that sun you're back out this is like basically exposing yourself please do not walk around nude okay if you, i mean if you want to and it's not illegal hey by all means go for it but this is basically you getting back like being joyous feeling happy and joyous again be 100 percent being feeling free that's also about youth as well okay leo energy there so you know confidence all of that energy all right let's see what the um chinese signs chinese signs are okay we've got a monkey pig snake dragon rooster tiger horse and a goat okay so this could be you could be your person uh, or it could be none of you okay so let me get some messages of love here for you guys Let's see i can never pick my cards up all right messages of love for virgo what's going on here True love and a past life love. Wow, Virgo. Yeah, this is about a past life connection. So Virgo, I, you're asking this question. Um, why? I don't understand. Um, I don't understand this connection. I've never felt like this about anybody in my life before, ever. <sighs> Virgo, it is, your soul remembers the intense connection. It's not you looking at this person aesthetically and saying, oh, I recognize them. This is a soul-to-soul -soul recognition. This is your true love, uh, for sure. And this person and you, um, why did you meet? And why did things not work out? Okay. Um, that's the uh, that's a $20 million question. Why did we meet for it to not happen, for it to not work out when I know this is my person? Let's ask, Virgo, let's ask. Why did you guys meet? Hmm. So that you would split apart. So that you could understand the truth of what this connection is. That it is true love. Um, I feel like if it's... So if it's really, really, truly a past life love, true love connection, uh, you will be split apart. Um, think 
Noah and Allie from the notebook. That was a true life, true love connection. 100%. But look how much time they were apart. Only to realize, look, Noah was so sick without Allie. Allie was so, I know it's a story, but we're going with it, all right? Allie was so sick without Noah. And there they were, about to be with other people that they didn't even want to be with. Go watch the movie again. That's your, this is what this is. I know some of you guys are like, I am not watching that movie. (laughs) And that's some of the masculines. And, you know, whatever. I don't give a shit. Don't do it. I don't care what you, why you even hear them. Because this is for romance, love stories. This is wonderful, right? This is, uh, oh, there's a light shining in my window. This is a twin flame. Oh, did I just say that? I might, I might have just said that. The purpose for you two to come together, for it to not work, is so that you could have time apart and recognize your true love. No one else will do. Virgo, anybody else that you go forward with, you settle for, will be a soulmate. And it will be someone that's, yeah, you get along great. You guys have fun together, but there's no true understanding. Okay. Denial card came up in the reverse. I feel like, yeah, because you've hadn't, you haven't been able to see the truth of this. That's why this, that's why the two of you are not together right now. Some distance will help bring clarity so that you can recognize. It's just about recognition, soul to soul, recognize, yep, healing, okay? The healing energy so that you guys could, uh, to heal each, to heal your past wounds from other relationships as well. It's crazy, I know. It's kind of like going in and getting the appetizer and then they never bring the meal. You know, you order the meal, but you want an appetizer first, you get the appetizer, and then the restaurant burns down and you never get to dig into that full, beautiful steak. The appetizers were, they were all right. They weren't 100% satisfying. You were waiting for the steak and it didn't come. You, you know, so now you got to wait because they got to rebuild the restaurant and get everything back up. And then you got to like go back in and place your order again. This is the time of rebuilding and getting yourself straightened out. Okay. So you are safe and divinely protected during this time. And that's what I was talking about in the beginning of this reading is just an energy of having this time to rebuilding your faith so you can move on and well, move forward maybe next month we'll see a coming together of these two energies or maybe it will be the same story where it continues so who knows how time is fluid right so we don't exactly know but i definitely feel like you meeting your person felt very detrimental to your soul because it made no sense and how difficult it was with this person makes no sense now caveat if your person was abusive physically hitting you or um just destroying your soul that's not this person okay you need to know that okay um if you're in a situation like that i truly hope that you're recognizing that for what it is and then moving on and away from that so that you can find someone or be open to to having the blessings coming in okay i'm not seeing someone here who is 100 percent full on like that okay that negative type of a person but i do see someone who's a little jaded and they're a little sideways when it comes to relationships or the way they were with you it might just be their temperament or just kind of how they are look and at the end of the day Virgo like I say all the time if that's something if you're okay with it you love them you're willing to wait hey by all means nobody here is telling you what to do not in this reading today so I feel like for you Virgo the message here is yeah look ghosted or blocked wow okay yeah there's definitely a disconnect I feel like the overall message here is like get your hope and your faith back think positively but yeah there is an energy here like this person there's a there's a blocking a ghosting energy between the two of you okay but the struggle the challenge the competition whatever it is coming to an end things are going to get better um but i don't see you taking any risks right now going forward i feel like for you it's kind of like i just you you stay in a little bit of isolation still before you make any kind of moves going forward in your life 
okay going forward you're, you're just not yeah you're putting effort into yourself and what you need to do for yourself you're <laughs> you're struggling to endure and be patient um but you're doing it okay it's not easy virgo you're doing it but you're having those moments you know okay you also have a good a lusty fiery spirit is in the reverse here okay some of you got rid of some kind of like lust demon or something <laughs> I don't think that means maybe you got it you exercised it out of yourself uh some of you are just like i'm not having any i'm not creating any lying down and creating soul ties with anybody right now I'm trying to see things differently and try to understand um you know wh was i an illusion was it a fantasy i'm trying to just gain some insight and some clarity and some spiritual um insight for myself right so i feel like that's your self-talk right there oh what was that oh i can't even see it oh my goodness hold on you guys okay justice is served remember that thing you were sweating over yeah, well, that's ending. You're in a good place now because the verdict is delivered in favor of you. The truth prevails. So, Virgo, that's always my karma card. This transition is going, to, this transition you're going through, um, where you feel like you're suffering, you're struggling right now. Like I said, you're going to come out of it. Um, but I feel like you'll be in a good place. Like you, light at the end of the tunnel here. Real strong message about that, you guys. Um, so if that's you struggling in that, yeah, keep that in the back of your mind. Um, this is not sustainable, this pain and this struggle. It's not sustainable. It will not last, okay? There will be some reprieve. There will be some relief. All right, let me get into your numbers and some charms. Okay, remember, guys, if you want to get a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description box below. All right, so we have Virgo showing up here. Leo, Taurus, and Aries. Okay, let's see. Okay, Virgo again, Sagittarius, and double Gemini. Possibly Scorpio. Not That's a 50-50 so far. All right, now there's Scorpio there. Double Virgo and Aries. Okay get some numbers all right somebody's birthday is on the eighth we have the first somebody's born 1980 um 1988 somebody lives in the 808 um we have november 4th through november 8th also 1964 significant year okay um did i say 1981 because i'm picking that up right now um I'm also picking up uh, country code 85. Um, I'm picking up country code 11. Um, getting area code 568. And country code 64. All right. Oh, there's the 111. Holla. Make a wish. Pause it and make a wish. Okay. 1979, 1970. Um, and these are the years. Also, 1985. Um, someone is 22 years of age. We have, uh, hold on, August 20. Oh, first. August 20th, that's uh, Leo, isn't it? Um, we have 210, 709, and also uh, August 28th, I'm picking up. September birthdays, okay. Um, so we have September 7th. September 3rd, the 5th, the 8th, somebody's 53, um, somebody's 38, hold on you guys, um, or September birthdays, 
Somebody's born 1990. Okay, September 1st. Uh, wow, 1111. Holy moly. Okay. keep getting September 3rd and the 13th okay and if I didn't did I say September 10th and also the 17th okay real strong messages there all right let's get your charms dig down deep for just one charm here and they're giving me oh a shoe high heel shoe okay somebody fancy some high heel shoes or loves high heel shoes. Maybe you're wearing them right now. Or there's a fetish for high heels. <laughs> um, or you're looking at them. Maybe you're going to buy some. You're going to start wearing some. Or maybe you put them in the closet and you're never touching them damn things again. Something here. Someone works either in a shoe store. You connect with someone in a shoe store. Maybe you sell shoes. Or you own shoes. Or something to do with a shoe. Uh, maybe it's like Pinocchio. And the shoemaker. It's something to do with a shoemaker. They just gave me Pinocchio. Oh, Pinocchio told lies. Okay, right. Let's not bring it back to that. So yeah, Virgo, I'm going to leave that reading there for you. I hope you enjoyed that. Wow, 54 minutes. So I'll be back here tomorrow to do your, um, I hope, I hope I have some things going on Friday, but I have to prep for that stuff Thursday. So if I am, I'll probably do this really early tomorrow's video for the weekend. But um, yeah, sorry, it's been kind of a, choppy week um but i propose to be here tomorrow to do your weekend love reading but if i'm not um maybe i'll try to do it uh, or pop in on saturday and give you a, a little bonus reading okay either way take that notification bell so you get alerted when i'm going to be here um or if there's something extra or i'm here on a different day all right you guys so i will see you all back here hopefully tomorrow have a great night bye <music>